Well, hello folks, here we are again with another teeny tiny technical video from Noah's LLC, that is we. I got up this morning, I went to uh, open the door to let the dogs out, and the door didn't open. So here I've got two little doggies standing there jumping around like flea on a hot brick, saying, we need to go out, we need to go out, and I couldn't get the door open. So at first I tried to push on it because I thought maybe it was just stuck, but um, then finally at least two brain cells kicked in. And I said, hey, the knob's turning. Actually, it's a lever, not a knob. The knob's turning, but uh, the door is not unlatching. So here's my little story on uh, what took place and how I fixed it. Okay, yet another do-it-yourself fix-it project. I went to open the back door, and um, the only thing that happened is uh, the handle just turns. But it doesn't pull the, the latching pin back. So I pulled the handle off, as you can see, and I checked this thing out, and as you can see, it, it doesn't do much of anything. It doesn't pull the handle back. It doesn't do anything. All right, so I'm stuck. I can't open the door. I can't get the mechanism to pull back, so I'm going to go outside and see if I can't uh, jimmy it from the outside. Well, I've been out here for about the last 20 minutes trying to jimmy this thing with a couple little skinny knives, because this is one of those that has a double pin. It's got a little front pin, and then the main uh, latch part that goes into the jam. And this is just impossible. The crack is so small, and you can't wedge this very well. And I don't know, because I've never tried to do this before, uh, if you have to pull both of those pins back at the same time, or if you pull the little front pin back and then the back main pin. I don't know. And I don't have another lock like this in the house to uh, do a little experiment on. So at this point, I've reached my limit. I'm going to tear this thing apart right here and see if I can separate this and then look down in there to see if I can grab whatever pulls the pins back because obviously it's broken, right? The damned handle just turns. Um, very aggravating uh, and it's just really hard to work down in here. So worst comes to worst, I'm going to get my saws on. I'm going to cut the thing out of there. I hope I don't come Okay, I got it out. Let me show you how this works so that you don't go through all the same stupid trouble I did trying to get this out of here. Is all I did was, uh, when it was in the door, I just reached through the hole because the handles are out, of course, and I bent this pin out and this pin out, and that let this these things release out of here. All these little pieces were inside, so when you pull this apart, if I can get this apart, it kind of falls apart. This is the part that actually pulls this back. You can see how it's all jimmied up where I was trying to get it um, unloose with uh, my little knives. But those little uh, pins right there, right there, and right there engage with uh, these pins right here. And you can see they're bent. And so what was happening was when I turned the handle, which turns these things, right? like this, it wasn't engaging the retractor pins right here, right, so it was slipping over them because they had gotten bent. Um, I, don't, I don't know, this is the first time I've ever taken one of these apart, so I don't know if this is a cheapy, chintzy piece of junk or if they're all built this way. But if you end up with the same kind of problem where the handle just turns and it doesn't pull the pin back to let you open the door, don't waste your time trying to jimmy this because <laughs> they used to do this with credit cards. You could push a credit card back behind this thing and it would go back. But now that they've got these, both of these spring-loaded things here, see this one has to be pulled back in, in order to get this one to pull back. Uh, it's a complete waste of time. So unless you're a burglar or something, I guess, and get trying to get in from the outside, uh, if you're the the homeowner, and this happens to you, take the handles off, right? go outside, take a pair of pliers, 
bend these two things, this whole mechanism comes apart, and then you can just pull this to get the thing to retract. All right? So then you can get it out. Of course, unscrew these from the edge of the door, and the whole thing comes out. It's really very simple. I wasted about a half an hour and gave myself a terrible headache trying to jimmy this with a couple of these really skinny little knives. It's a complete waste of time. Just uh, go in and tear the stupid thing apart and then uh, throw it in the trash and get something uh, a little bit better quality, I hope. Yet another fix-it thing I wasn't planning to do. Well, planning or not, you got to fix things when they're broken if uh, they're causing you a great deal of difficulty, which is uh, certainly the case in this case because you got to be able to get in and out of the back door, otherwise you got to walk all the way around to the front of the house. Not too cool, especially when it's raining, and it's been raining out here a lot. So I went down to the local hardware store and I got a new uh, quick set, 35 bucks worth, um, and I examined it very carefully before I um, purchased it. Um, and it's much better engineered. doesn't have the two little um, isolated prongs that engage the little bent fingers like the uh, piece of junk I took out of there. So it's much better, much better uh, designed, much better built. Um, I paid five bucks to uh, have the uh, thing rekeyed so I could use my existing home keys and uh, put it in. It, it works great. Um, I guess you get what you pay for. I don't remember what I paid for that little piece of junk, but whatever it was, it wasn't worth it. So if you get uh, stuck and you can't open your door, maybe you got a lock set that's uh, kind of gone south on you. Um, so now you know, don't get the cheapy kind. Look in the package before you buy it.